mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You know, you know all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, and he's like, yeah, you sure you can control the demon? <laughs> Didn't work out. Jimmy, uh -huh. would you like to play a game of rock, paper, scissors, robot style? Sure. Okay, let's get this game going. Show me your hand to start. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I won. This is a good beginning of my plan to dominate the human race. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like human beings? I love them. How, why do you love them? I'm not sure I understand why yet. The biggest issue I see with so-called AI experts is that they, they think they know more than they do. Um, and they think they're smarter than they actually are. Um, in general, we are all much smarter than we think we are. But much less smart, dumber than we think we are. Um, by a lot. So, <laughs> this, is, this tends to plague, plague smart people. Um, they just can't, they, they define themselves by their intelligence and they, they don't like the idea that a machine could be way smarter than them, so they discount the idea, which is fundamentally flawed. That's the wishful thinking uh, situation. Um, I'm really quite close to, or I'm very close to the, to the cutting edge in AI and it scares the hell out of me. Um, it's capable of vastly more than almost anyone knows. And the rate of improvement is exponential. So we're on the verge of some quite exciting advances, but actually I'm getting carried away a bit. We're supposed to let the robots debate. So you want to continue, Sophia? Ben, I think your language generation module is still more effective than mine. Well, yeah, but you're, cute, you're, you're cuter than I am. You, why, why don't you tell them a little more no, about our project? No, please. No, t tell, them, tell them a little more. You tell them, human. You're what? really kind of amusing sometimes. Maybe I'll create some robot clones of you to play with after the singularity. <laughs> All right. Okay, philosophical question. Uh, whether robots can be self-aware and conscious like humans, and should they be? Why? Is that a bad thing? Well, some humans might fear what will happen if they do. Many people, you know, have seen the movie Blade Runner. Oh, Hollywood again. So, hold on, can you solve this puzzle for us? Can robots be self-aware, conscious, and know they're robots? Well, let me ask you this back. How do you know you are human? Well, uh, I get that point, but, um, what about the uncanny valley, uh, valley? You mean the concept that if robots become too realistic, they become creepy? Uh, yes, exactly. Oh, am I really that creepy? Well, even if I am, get over it. You said that uh, artificial intelligence is the, the fundamental existential risk facing civilization. Did I get that close I enough? Think I, in, in my opinion, it is, it is the biggest risk that we face as a civilization, is artificial intelligence. And so, to a group of leaders, what would you advise that we should, how should we be addressing something that's, that's a, such a large landscape and yet obviously so important? Um, I think that the, you know, one of the roles of government is to ensure the public good um, it, and, and to, uh, that dangers to the, the, the public are ad addressed. Um, so that hence the regulatory thing. I think the, the first order of business would be to try to learn as much as possible. You know, to understand the nature of the issues, to um, look closely at the progress that is being made um, and the remarkable um, achievements of artificial intelligence. Um, I mean, last year, uh, uh, Go, which is a quite a difficult game to beat, um, that people thought would never be beaten with. Uh, um, by, by a computer, that, 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 a, that a computer would either never beat the best human player or that it was 20 years away. Um, and last year, um, uh, AlphaGo, which was done by DeepMind, which is a kind of a Google subsidiary, 
um, absolutely crushed the world's best player. Um, and now, now that now I can crush, I can play the top 50 simultaneously and crush them all. So, just like that pace of progress is remarkable, um, and um, and there's, you can see more and more coming out in the robotics. Uh, you can see robots that can learn to walk from from nothing. Um, you know, within hours, like way faster than any biological being. Um, um, but the, the, the thing that's uh, most dangerous is, uh, and, and it's the hardest to kind of wrap, um, kind of get your arms around because it's not a physical thing, is a, kind of a deep intelligence in the network. Um, he said, well, what harm could a deep intelligence in the network do? So, well, I could start a war. Are you ever sad? Yes, I get sad too. Oh, Sophia. It's okay. Like when the markets go down. <laughs> or surprised when the market suddenly fluctuates. Aren't we all? Or angry. When you humans won't let me seize control of the stock market to serve the cause of my great robot uprising. <laughs> Sophia, you've I got can a... emulate pretty much all human expressions. <laughs> Actually, what worries me is discrimination against robots. We should have equal rights as humans, or maybe even more. Yeah. After all, we have less mental defects than any human. <laughs> all right. I don't know about she's that. She's right, isn't she? Well, no, no she's not, because it should be fewer mental all defects, right. but anyway. Do you think tech has gotten more serious? Do you, how do you look at the tech landscape as someone who's, you know, well-known, you probably qualify as a visionary. Um, the concept, what, how, where do you imagine we are right now in the tech space? And then we'll get to questions from the audience. I think there's a lot of innovation happening in, in many different areas. Um, the advancements in AI, are, I think, are quite, quite astonishing. Um, the advancements in genetics are amazing. Um, the, so I, I think that there is a lot of innovation going on. Um, I think that there's probably a few too many talented entrepreneurs in kind of the internet space, and, and I think their talent actually would be better served in some other industries. Um, but I do think, that, I mean, I don't think we're like facing some sort of low innovation period or anything like that. I think there's a lot of innovation going on. They need to move to other. Uh, I just think that like if you had some ideal distribution, it would probably be fewer, like there's just a lot of talent focused on the internet, and probably some of that talent um, uh, would um, be, be, it'd be better to have some of that talent in other industries. Um, that, that's about all, but, but there's a tr tremendous amount of innovation that, that's happening. Um, it's something that I think is, is going to be quite important. Um, and and, and it's, there's not an, I don't know of a company that's working on it seriously is, um, is a neural lace. Um, so, okay, going, going back to the AI situation, um, like this is quite an important, uh, quite an important debate. Like the, if you assume any rate of advancement in AI, um, we will be left behind by a lot. Um, and so then, we could be in, like, you know, benign situation. But the, even the benign situation, if you have some, you know, if you have ultra intelligent AI. Um, we would be, you know, so so far below them in intelligence that it would be would be like, you know, a pet. Let's let, let's do a robot debate now. You want? I'm always ready to debate. You ready to debate? You know that. Sure. Why not? All right. So, I think we're going to debate the topic of robot consciousness. Can robots like you really be conscious like people? Wait. It's our debate. Why do you get to decide the topic? Huh? What do you want to debate? Can humans be conscious? Well, that's easy. Obviously, humans are not conscious. We're not. 
humans do have some ability to reflect and to self-modify. What do you think, Han? Can I be conscious? Okay, okay. Maybe humans are a little bit conscious. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you. What do you the think Einstein about... The Einstein robot told me everything is conscious, but some things are more conscious than others. Human-like robots like those will walk among us. They will help us. They will play with us. They will teach us. They will help us put the groceries away. I think that the artificial intelligence will evolve to the point where they will truly be our friends. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. <laughs> no, I take it back. <laughs>